In this series, we're now going to start beginning to look at mechanics and the use of mathematics um, in actually applied mathematics. Um, in this uh, question, you can see that we have um, we have a uh, uh, two position vectors with two particles, mass m with position vector, sorry, PV, R1, R2. It's asking us to find the force of the system and RT, which is uh, the position vector of the center of the mass of the system as a function of time. So firstly, we have R1 over here and R2. So we know that you have R1, T could also be when differentiated, dr dt to equal v, which is also written as r dot t. But then let's say we want to differentiate the differential of this, so we get dv dt. We that means have r dot dot t, which equals a. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to differentiate r one t twice. So dr dt is going to be minus sine t i plus cos t j plus 2 t k. That's t squared. And then if we differentiate this, obviously now dr dt equals v. So now we can do dv dt, which is the differential of this, which is going to give us uh, minus cos t i, oops, minus sine t j plus 2 k. So there we have our, um, that's our a, our acceleration of the particle r1. Let's get a new little piece of paper. And now we're going to do the same thing to r2. So we have R2T, uh, sorry, let's actually just, just get rid of that. And let me do uh, dr dt, dr2 dt, which is just going to be this differentiated, which is going to be sine ti uh, minus cos tj plus 2tk. And then the differential of that is going to equal the acceleration, which is going to be cos ti plus sine t plus 2k. So now we have two um, vectors, which were position uh, vectors, that we've differentiated twice to get two accelerations. We now know that the mass is m. So um, what we can then do is to use f equals ma. And all you're going to do here is do m times the whole of that and m times the whole of that to get the forces. So now the force of the entire system would be F1 plus F2 would equal force total. So that's the force of this and the force of this added together multiplied by the mass, which would equal the force, the total force. So if I do that, it would be uh, m all multiplied by minus cos t i plus sine t i minus cos t j sorry there's my brackets minus sine t j plus Where am I looking? Cos t. Whoops. I'm actually writing down this. This one here. So I just get rid of that. Let's do it again. So it's going to be this and this added together. This and this added together. And this and this added together. So we're actually going to get cos t i plus minus cos t i minus sine t j plus sine t j and then you have 2k and 2k so it's going to be 2k 
plus 2k all multiplied by m. So this is going to equal 4k m. So here we have now found the force of this system. So this system is just simply uh, the differential of each of these uh, multiplied by the mass and there you have it, you get 4km. In my next video I'm going to be explaining how to find RT.